Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer to the new Evil Dead documentary, uh, Hail to the Deadites. This is all surrounding the fandom and yeah. the history and franchise of the Evil Dead series. I mean, the fandom, pretty much, at this point, because so, it's like, it's, it's grown tremendously to where we, uh, it went from the films... And then we went into the series. Yeah. All so that. yeah, for what feels like forever to go, forever ago, uh, with Bruce Campbell playing a, a teenager just looking to get get some, yeah. and instead get some changes a different life. It, it, it changes his, li- his character's life dramatically, and it also dr- but also in the film world, dr- drastically changes the life of Bruce Campbell mm-hmm. and the, the the movie's director Sam Raimi. Well, I know that that as well, but for the you know just. You know, it's like this character has become iconic at this point, and it's evolved over uh, time. Yeah, we got movies, TV shows, video games. And, and, and what I even love even better is, like, you know, when he, they brought him into, you know, crossovers into, like, comic book form as well, where, like, they had him join other, like, Marvel uh, characters and stuff like that that's like... To, to team up with other Marvel type of characters. Yeah, and then, even the even stuff. the comic books they had him take on was it Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's a very long lasting character. It's, he's become an iconic character. That's why a lot of people wouldn't mind seeing him like uh, even in like a, uh, like the was it a Mortal Kombat type of situation. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. The, there's there's really heavy rumors that the was it season two technically season two passed. Will include Ash as well, but we'll have to wait on that. That's not what we're here yeah. for. But yeah, The Evil Dead is a great franchise. It's worth checking out. Yeah. There's a couple of hit or misses here and there, but it's an overall entertaining spectacle. And that's what fans are called as well. Our fans of this are called Deadites. You know, and we're Deadites. So let's just dive into this and take a look at the uh, official trailer for Hail to the Deadites, the documentary. So here we go. I guess what fans should realize is that uh, what they do can be tremendously uh, impactful for good or bad. They don't want his career too. Yeah, that's why they They lost him. They're amazing. I think the yeah, fan base for this genre is wonderful. I took the mentions for it. They're extremely passionate sure. and they will drive miles just to get an autograph. People want to buy autographs. I had no idea that it was such a big hit. Mm-hmm. Is this movie? Okay. From the original, like, yeah. Films. I've always been told my entire life that you kind of look like Bruce Campbell. Well, fans, you know, most <laughs> he does. Guys, he does. They'll wait in line for two hours and they won't say a word. Basically, it's taken six months of saving to be here. He, well, that is just a huge He's one I wouldn't mind having a picture with. Goes by, I don't you think know? About it. Gee, the fans are awesome. Why, just today, a young man came in and said, I'm going to propose to my girlfriend here. This is my boom step. Bruce Nography. You know, it's pornography. Bruce Campbell pornography. But I think they like uh, Ashley. Uh, yeah. Ashley is not terribly smart, but he is relatively honest, and he does have a lot of guts. Bruce yeah, says I should give it to Sam. Sam wants it. I had the original shot. Yeah. You didn't really think anybody was ever going to see it. They love the movie because it's a fun movie. Mm-hmm. I'm glad to go to conventions now because I can say to them, "We gave you what you want. If they want more. They're going to get more." Hey. This is my. <laughs> Fans of the Evil Dead. I love watching stuff like that. Like I said, when we watched the react, you know, we did that for I think what was the last one? I forget what the last one we did it for. Um, but it's like like people who are just fans of like different iconic characters, or even just film franchises within horror or anything like that. You know, it's just it shows the fandom is there. Even when you have like small little conventions focused on it, it's like you don't, like he says that you don't realize how much has grown. Oh yeah, definitely. You know and. Like, like, and even I was saying during the trailer, it's like, this really launched Bruce Campbell's career, you know, into this... And, nice, and Sam Raimi's and so, No, 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 that's why I said, I was trying to get to that, sorry. Uh, you know, and Sam Raimi's career as well, you know, it's like, it's like, it launched both their careers. Yeah, he, like, Sam Raimi now done, what, three Spider-Man films, and is going to be doing the sequel to Doctor Strange now? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's very interesting, you know, it's, and, you know, this is, and hopefully we get Brian 
Bruce Campbell in there somewhere. <laughs> if it's Sam Raimi attached to a Marvel thing... He's going to try to get Bruce Campbell in there just for a little bit of a cameo. Like, I, if it's multiverse, he's going to be playing an alternate version of, of Doctor Strange. Oh, God. Oh, think about it. All you need is the lights on the sides <laughs> and him in the outfit, and that's it. <laughs> that's it going, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's such a great... It's like with Star Wars. Like, with... There's such a great fan base to it, and yeah. so, sometimes people are like actors from the films and stuff. They're are generally, are generally surprised how especially strong. for a small film, you know, you know, became such a huge hit. You know, that's why it's like some of the actors they showed there are like from the original original Evil Dead series, or the original film series. You know, back in the day, you know, for the film, and it's like you re and even they're like, you know, it's like we're stuff like. Wow, this is so big for a lot of fans. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to be psyched if he does show up on something like Mortal Kombat. If it won't happen, but if it ever Ash vs. Evil Dead comes back, you know, like, god damn it, it ended weird. Well, I still have to get caught up on it. I, I won't spoil it, but it ended weird. I heard it ended weird, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, like I said, because I know they, they did have planned a certain point where they wanted to bring, even when they did the remake of, like, uh, remake Evil. Of, of the Evil Dead. And stuff like that, they really wanted... Uh, they, they said they wanted to bring Bruce Campbell's character into it. Pretty much, like, it merged the universes in a way. Because even they ended... Was it uh, at the end of that film, after the, the post-credits, you just had Bruce Campbell going... Groovy. You know, that's all... And that's it. It's like, everyone's like... <gasps> you know, but it's like... It, that's how much the franchise has grown. Where it's just like... It's, it's become... Such a huge thing, and people, some people don't realize it, you know, that it's like, hey, this is an actual thing. Because it started off so cheesy of a B-rated movie, that's all, and then and then when he turned it into the comedy film, like, Ar Army of Darkness, that made it even more bigger. You know, that's what we grew up with. That's a, I think that's the film we started off with, was Army of Darkness, before even realizing, wait, there are other evil dads? Wait, what? <laughs> you know? You know, that's what really drew us in, and it was just, it was fun. Yeah. You know, and definitely, if you haven't checked out the series or original film, Yes, it may be cheesy, but that's what made the film so fantastic is how cheesy it was. And, of course, there's Army of Dead and everything else after that. Army of Darkness, but okay. Yeah, the Army of Darkness, sorry. But, yeah. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about documentaries like this, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this trailer and... Are you a dead eye? Are you a huge fan of the series? Um, whether it's like a hardcore fan or just a fan in general, where you just you know you can't get enough of it, where you at least you enjoy watching it, and it's just it's it's a fun watch. It's a fun sit back type of watch. Um, you know anything? You know any favorite moments or anything that stands out for Bruce Campbell's? You know Ash Williams. You know I mean anything that just that drew you into this character or anything like that that makes you. Love this character so much, it makes him so iconic. Let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And of course, it's been a very groovy-filled episode of SRV. You know, to the deadites. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Startups at Super React Bros.